Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try to solve this problem, do some lab coding work. At the same time, I'm going to follow the general interview steps while trying to solve this problem. So first of all, let's race through this problem to get an idea about what it is. So maximum points you can obtain from cars. So there are several cars arranged in a row and uh, each card has an associated number of points. The points are given in the integer array card points. So in one step, you can take one card from the beginning or from the end of the row. You have to take exactly k cards. Your score is the sum of the points of the cards you have taken. So given the integer array card points and the integer k, return the maximum score you can obtain. So for example, you have the, uh, in, uh, the card points array something like this and k is equal to 3. The maximum points is actually 12, uh, so the explanation is uh, we are going to take the last three cards. So here are some other extra examples. So let's see the constraints. So cards, uh, so the length of the card array is anywhere between 1 to 100k, and each card has a point between 1 to 10k, and k is anywhere between 1 to the length of the card array. So having said that, I think not too much of the room to think about edge case since everything is not going to be empty and k is within a reasonable range. So let's see how to solve this problem then. So how to solve this problem? So the uh, so one very uh, intuitive idea, so one so like one naive idea is to think about the brute force solution first. So of course, what we could do is we could use, um, uh, we could uh, enumerate all of the possibilities using uh, recursion uh, plus backtracking. So essentially, uh, it's something like for each of the choice of the card, we could uh, take two uh, choices. Uh, one is to take the card from the beginning, one is to take the card from uh, the end. So for this one, the run time is going to 2 to the power of k because uh, there are this many of the enumerations. So of course, there could be some other uh, uh, other better ways. So let's see how to solve this in a, in a more smart way, like in a smarter way. So one way what we could do is uh, we could use uh, dynamic programming. So for this one, so uh, although the problem is uh, written in a special way but essentially what it is trying to do is just to try to like get two parts of the subarray from the beginning and the, the end and then get the maximum number so uh, this is a pretty uh, so so if it is so if it is asking you to get a subarray just one subarray which contains a maximum sum I think you already know what how to do it so um, what we could do here, um, so just a like a small little change for for the for the one subarray maximum sum uh, algorithm. One small little change what we could do to make it uh, apply here is we could have like actually have two subarrays. One subarray is to is so I would just call it prefix uh, sub uh, prefix prefix subarray uh, sum. So this one, this prefix subarray sum is going to have uh, uh, k integers. Essentially, it is trying to uh, keep track of the prefix sum uh, for the subarray. So, for example, let's say this. Let's I'll just call it prefix. Prefix i means the the sum um, sum of numbers between uh, card points 0 to part card points uh, uh, i minus 1. And similarly, we are going to have a sub, uh, suffix uh, subarray sum. So similarly, uh, we have the definition as suffix i is the sum of the numbers between the last one, which is n minus one, to n minus i minus one. So no, so this should be just the n minus i. So essentially, this one is just the, the suffix uh, 
some uh, the the sum of the suffix uh, subarray. So n is the length of the card points array here. So after we have computed two of the subarray sum, what we could do is we could uh, try to do the enumeration. Just do one pass uh, from uh, i from zero to uh, k. So within here, we are going to uh, generate all of the possibilities. How we are going to uh, like so how we are going to choose just a chunk of the prefix uh, sub uh, prefix just a, try to get a chunk of the prefix and the chunk of the suffix and the connect them as a uh, as the final answer we are going to return but within all of the uh, within all of the possibilities uh, we want to try to get the maximum one so essentially this is something like uh, let's say we have like the max sum uh, initially defined as here and max sum is actually mass dot max among the max sum and also prefix this is prefix i plus suffix uh, n minus i so essentially it's something like we choose i numbers uh, from the prefix and we choose the n minus i numbers from the suffix and we enumerate all of the possibilities, try to see which one is actually the maximum uh, we, uh, we could get. So that's essentially how we are going to solve this problem in a better way. So the runtime is going to be all of k, um, which is, uh, so all of k, k is just the input k. Um, the runtime, why it, is, uh, why it is k, that is because it takes all k to compute the prefix sum, and the suffix sum, and also this for loop. So, so far we, we have this kind of the DT solution. I think this should be the most optimal solution regarding the runtime. So let's do some uh, coding work on top of this solution. So as I said, um, we are going to have the prefix array. So it's like new integer k. And we also have the suffix uh, as new int k. So here, we go from say i is equal to zero. Well, uh, I think we need to actually have this as k plus one here. Uh, that is because uh, prefix zero is just a keep kind as zero, which means we are going to take zero numbers from uh, the from the beginning of the of the uh, uh, of the cardi points array. So i is smaller equal to k and plus plus i. So prefix uh, I should be from one here actually. So prefix i is equal to prefix. Uh, this would be i minus one plus card points. Uh, this will be i minus one, and similarly, we are going to have the suffix uh, array. It's very similar, just a little bit different. So we are going to have i starting from one to k. So this would be so if we are we are getting zero. So okay, so this would be card points n minus i minus one. So let's see. If i is equal to 1, we are actually looking at the last number, which is n minus 1. Okay. And then if i is equal to 2, uh, what we are trying to do is essentially p uh, prefix. So this should be suffix, actually. Uh, so suffix, suffix uh, 0 is just 0, suffix 1 is the last number of the card points, suffix 2 is uh, suffix 2 is the last two numbers. Uh, okay, I think it should be correct. And then let's say we have the maximum defined here, uh, let's say if it is starting from 0. So I Okay, so it says that each of the card points is never going to be negative, so we just uh, start with zero for our maximum sum. And then we go through each of the k, let's say k start from 
0, k, uh, sorry, i start from 0, i is uh, smaller or equal to k, and the plus plus i. So this i means how many of the cards we are going to uh, select from the beginning. So max sum is equal to max dot max uh, on top of sum, uh, max sum. And also this will be prefix uh, i plus suffix. Uh, uh, this would be, well, this would be k minus i. Okay. And then finally, we are just going to return mics. Um, so for simplicity, I'll just uh, admit the uh, menu testing. Uh, let's uh, just uh, rely on this platform to help us do some debugging work. So we have this cannot find symbol. Okay, so this is because this should be card. All right, so now it's accepted. Let's uh, run some extra test cases. All right, so let's do some simulation. All right, so it seems like this is right. And uh, that's it for this coding question. So if you have any question regarding the solution or regarding this piece of code, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.